Hi everyone, John here from techyreview.com and today we're going to take a quick look at iOS 9.3 beta. Now this is now in public beta and I'll put some links below if you want to go ahead and try this out but please remember this is beta so there are bugs, things won't work, um, if you don't want to mess up your phone don't install this 9.3 beta um, but if you're brave enough want to have a go links will be below it's quite a simple process and you don't need to develop account now that's in public beta anyway so let's talk about some of the new features now probably the biggest one is the blue light reduction now what this enables you to do is change the level of blue light being emitted from your phone now it's been suggested that blue light does interfere with you getting to sleep or your sleep patterns especially if you're using your phone for any length of time before you go to bed so what you can do you can now obviously change this. Now to do that, you go into settings, come down to display and brightness, and you'll see in the middle, blue light reduction. Now you can turn it on, and then you can move the slider up and down, you know, to whatever suits. Or if you don't want to keep going in manually and changing it, what you can do is you can go and turn on a schedule. You can have from sunset to sunrise, or you can create your own custom schedule. Now probably the next biggest change is probably passwords for notes. Now a lot of people use notes but a lot of private information in there, stuff they probably don't want other people to read maybe. But what you can now do is go into notes and again this is in settings down to notes you'll see password protection. Go in there you can create a password, turn on touch ID and I'm sure a lot of people are going to find that quite useful. Now a lot of the other changes are to do with the forced touch so some of the stock apps have been updated to enable forced touch and giving you some of those you know access to quick settings so we'll start off with settings that can give you access to your bluetooth wi-fi battery and set of wallpaper um, what else we've got compass start level start compass health app has now got some new features there show dashboard showed you medical id the weather app that will give access to your favorite cities it allows you to add another city. iTunes and the App Store have been updated. So you've got search, redeem, view, download or purchased. And pretty much the same with the, with the App Store as well. Now one of the updates is to live photos. Now what you can do now is you can actually set or select a single frame out of your live photos. And actually then that will enable you then to send that on to somebody who can't use live photos. Um, anyway, so that's just a quick look at some of the new features that are in 9.3. I'm sure things will change and I'll put links below. If you want to have a go and have a look at 9.3, I'll put links below so you can go and try that out. But please remember, back up your phone, go and give it a shot. There's some nice new features. Have fun with it. And please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.